how high can matic go in 2019 updated welcome back guys it's crypto rocker from rockstar trading channel in today's video guys i'll be sharing with you my thoughts on matic how high it can go where you can look to buy and just an overall thoughts on the matic network project so guys matic had a really good breakout and um, i was actually keeping an eye, eye on for matic but i missed the entry i did not get my perfect entry this was a setup that i missed but old coins not just matic guys there's a lot of old coins going parabolic matic has moved almost 100 percent in few days i actually missed matic one is a trade that i did catch obviously it did not break out as hard as matic but you can see it also made it about 50 percent move fetch is a trade that i'm in now and there's lots of coins that are doing really well and then um, this video that i made uh, a mini old coin season a couple of days ago and the live stream if you watch that i do it every sunday make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications notification button if you want to get updated when i do it these videos work really well i could not have timed it better so i'm going to share my thoughts on matic and and where you could be looking to buy and where you could be taking profit so let's go on the higher time frame on matic and then i'll share with you my thoughts and and could it actually hit new all-time highs again i'm not going to make crazy predictions if you've been following me i try to talk logic you know i've been trading for over five years if you've joined my educational group you can see exactly where i'm looking to buy exact signals and i keep you guys up to date with what i'm doing i've shared some more signals because altcoins can really run and then um, um, and uh, what I want to teach you guys is not actually signals but actually how to trade it I've got a full educational course you can watch it um, it's sold out for this month but I'm going to open a couple of spots for the last month in December is the last month where I'm doing this so make sure you want to uh, make sure you check it out so Matic let's actually give you guys some solid information so I was looking at Matic at 236 level and I, when it broke out of 236 that is a very very strong signal my Fibonacci trading if you're new to Fibonacci just use this the 236 level uh, in cryptocurrency the 236 level breakout works really well so Matic hasn't been as textbook as Link so you guys remember the Link trade I took that actually played out perfectly stopped at 382 at 50 level and it break out out of this structure Matic was a bit more complicated so that's why I, I think I missed it if it was uh, my trade strategy if it fitted i would have made more money so a few guys actually traded this they took the entry here which i missed and then um, i'll show you this uh, so and i missed it. i'm completely transparent so someone said I, I, I took this trade and my thoughts was matic went absolutely crazy i traded one and fetch but missed matic if i had a good entry i would take some profit so i said i was going to take some profit at this red zone and if it broke above the red zone i'll look to buy some more so you can see it came to this red zone it pulled back for a bit about 12 percent and then had another rally but it did not stop at all you can see big move up you could have probably entered here uh, on the hourly time frame it was probably slightly more clear uh, but it wasn't it wasn't the perfect strategy according to my pullback strategy and then it moved up again when it broke out of 382 that's when i did take a trade I missed it. Uh, I, I couldn't. I should have bought this, but I wasn't at my desk when it happened. It was 4 a.m. in the UK. I wasn't awake. But this is something that I wasn't gonna miss. So this happened during. Um, uh, you could see around two. Um, around 10 o'clock. So I was awake. I was waiting for this. Uh, uh, I've got a two-hour video on charts and continuation patterns. This was a nice setup pullback to the moving average. But I took really quick profits. You can see I probably took 5% because uh, I didn't know if it was going to continue. So when you buy um, at, at these bottom levels, you can huddle for a bit longer. So the one trade I took, um, I actually, if you go back, you can see, uh, let me find the one trade. The way I did was I took half off, but I, I hodled the rest. So you can see I took half off here and I kept hodling because we got a good entry on one. But unfortunately, Matic's already run, so please do not chase, guys. I know people that made a lot of ma money on Matic when it went up, but they also hodled. And you look, look what happened, guys. Cryptocurrency, it works like this. It dropped 86%. So you have to be careful here. But if you ask me what, where Matic is going next, I think it will go a bit higher, especially if Bitcoin. Bitcoin doesn't make a crazy move I do think Matic will get, get higher so how will I look to trade it if it pulls back um, we wait for a longer bit of a pullback it is giving a bullish structure now so if it consolidates here guys it uh, does something like this 
and then it, it breaks out above this level then you could look to buy and uh, where would you take profit if you do take that trade you would look to take pro oh, excuse me you would look to take profit guys around the 618 level um, so that will be a trade strategy wait for a pullback in Matic if you got a sorry in link uh, I did a similar sort of trade at the 382 level I bought the breakout I took some off at 50% and took the rest off at 618 it carried on to hit 786 so if you ask me where Matic goes uh, unless it breaks down here pulls back hard gets below this red level then I think Matic is not going to carry on higher as long as it stays above this red level wait for the RSI to cool down you know wait for maybe a sideways days like we've seen on link happen link, study link charts what I do isn't something crazy you can easily learn what I do is just literally studying chart patterns for hours and hours and you can pick it up guys I've been making videos for over two years showing you the strategies you can check it out so guys if you ask me what my thoughts are on Matic I do think it will get to around this sort of level especially the way the market is a uh, uh, lot of people are buying altcoins and usually when we have a breakout people there's always people joining in after I would recommend there's other coins that you could look to trade again I'm sharing some signals here now I can share with you some now I've shared it in the free Facebook group just now you can check it out this is completely free to join and um, some of the ones that I'm looking at uh, uh, now is and uh, I'll show you guys you can see so Matic one data had crazy moves uh, ada aunt zilica fetch these are some of the coins that i'm looking at now you could uh, look to trade them as well maybe i'll make a video another video tomorrow too which coins you should buy so that is my kind of short-term trading strategy for matic studying link this is what i'd expect matic to do if it if the pattern works and you know if there's late buying coming in i think that is what we, we will see if it does do something crazy i don't think it will get above the 786 i think this will be the zone where it gets trapped uh, there's still enough if you really like matic if you're in matic maybe have your stop loss below a swing point and see if you can run it take half off at 50 percent and have your stop loss below move your, move your stop loss up and see if you can run it that will be sort of my zone uh, i and if it does go crazy like this i think it can have a spike up to 1272 level which is again i'm not saying it will happen this is more higher likely but this could be my next target if it does break out because we've seen matic can run like crazy this is Binance REOs can run like crazy. We've seen it with Link. We, we're seeing a bit of it with, with Fetch. Fetch is looking really bullish. And I'm in this coin, guys. Uh, I, I closed my position. I need to maybe change my strategy because, you know, in, in, in the bear market, we've not really seen these breakouts and I've been used to taking quick profits. So maybe I need to huddle my uh, positions are, are a bit longer. So that's my thoughts on Matic. That is what I think to end of the year, I think. Matic will probably do something like Link where it consolidates and then maybe pulls back a bit l lower um, and if it does uh, just consolidates here then we could expect it to go back here uh, what I don't want to see is a spike like this if Matic does a spike like that then <laughs> I think it will be bearish for Matic and it won't do what Link is doing but I do think it could have another big push up to here that is my thoughts on Matic hope you guys enjoyed that video that is my sort of prediction for matic towards the end of the year if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button to end the video my question to you guys is what is your thoughts on matic do you think it will hit new all-time highs in 2019 or do you think it will have another rally up and then consolidate like a uh, link is doing comment below guys and let's have a discussion so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much